Hey guys, what's up? It's Kazons again. Here, we have Sovereign, and I love this map to the death. And I'm going to explain to you why you'll pretty much figure it out. Hopefully you'll figure it out, but mainly because of the control room and where the spawns are at on this map. And you've know, you guys all know about the spawns in Ghost if you played this map. It's pretty bad. They spawn, I mean, you can pretty much spawn right in front of people. Right around corners and stuff like that, but... We'll see. You'll see. But, um... What gun am I going to use? I guess I'm going to use the Honey Badger. I just made this class. Free for all. I was playing a little bit of Time domination to work, with this. On, with its iron sights. This guy decides to eat bullets, so I'm fine with that. But I was using it on domination, and I noticed that it has a wobble to it. And I don't like that. I do like the iron sights on it. But I'm pretty ashamed that I have to use a red dot on it. But, you know... Whatever. Has a suppressor on it. I'll use the red I mean I use the red dot on it just because it kinda gets rid of the wobble. This gun has suppressor on it, it decreases the range. I can get kills for longer distance as well, which is a little bit harder if you're using like siren sights or something like that. So I'm pretty much just gonna be chilling in the control room. Scavenger. The whole game or so what around the control room. But we'll see how we do. And, um, I'm not the only one that tries to run the control room, run back and forth in it. As you'll see what I'll, I definitely will do. See? Wow. I just turned my back on him. Which I don't know why I did. Didn't even see the guy. He has a thermal MTRX. Oh, wow. It's kind of pathetic, in my opinion. But yeah, that guy. I don't know what he was doing. He was playing like a bot. I'll shoot this guy. Someone spawning over here, probably. That's why I love this map a lot. Spawns in this. I know him very well, like the back of my hand. Ooh, I thought I was going to get drop shot for a second. That guy laid down right in front of me. Ooh, that was dirty. He just got the D. He didn't even get a bullet on me. Spotted. Yeah, so I'm not sure why people aren't coming in the control room. People, like, most of the time, like, pretty much every game, these, I mean, they all, there's someone always in the control room, no matter what. I want to check this corner. Maybe he's there. Yup, he's there. Still camping, like it's his job or something. Maybe someone down here. Don't want to get shot in my back. Cause I, actually, I do think people spawn down there, but I'm not too sure. Maybe someone outside here. Guess not. Hopefully, someone spawned back here. So you see, right through here, they spawned in that little yellow area right around the corner from the control room. And that's what I love best about this, because you can get, you know, double kills, triple kills on the same person, and it's pretty, it's pretty nice. That guy loves to camp there. I'm gonna make sure I check that spot a lot more because if I get shot in that guy by that guy right in my back, I might be a little upset. Wow, still no one from the door. Wow. I can't believe I didn't get that guy. I was on my part drop shot of that guy. I know the honey badger isn't the best. I don't know if you guys use a gun or not. It's actually not it's not that bad. I know people don't use it in like, you know, like competitive, you know, tournaments at Anaheim and stuff like that. I just, I've noticed that people don't use it as much as like the Vector or the MTRX. But actually now I look at it, it's not that bad spotted. Gun. But it is kind of weird, I've spotted. noticed. I wish I could put a, like, a take off that suppressor there. And just give it a muzzle break and a red dot. I think it would be like the Vector or like just as good. But unfortunately, this thing has a, a built-in suppressor, as you see. You cannot take it off. But I think that's what makes this gun so unique. The suppressor on it. And that's why a lot of people use it, I think. Because it has a suppressor, and they just want to, you know, make sure... Because a lot of people use suppressors. And it's just built-in, and they want to get those extra detachments in. Hopefully someone's in here. I guess not. Wow. 
Maybe if I start killing them around here, they'll start noticing that I'm, I'm killing them around the same area. Maybe they'll start coming here. Get some attention. Yep, seemed like this guy gets what I'm trying to do. I knew that guy was coming because I'm using Amplifier. I know that guy's pretty newbie, and I know a lot of people do not like seeing people use this perk. But I'm using all my uh, my specialists because there's not too many good perks in this game. I think like on the go. Enemy definitely hate on the go. This perk is a complete waste. That guy probably just spawned there. I'm guessing. But what I'm gonna tell you why I hate on the go, especially in this game. On the go, pretty much lets you reload while you're running, and like kind of like in Battlefield. But this is tough. I reload cancel a lot, and it saves my life often. And if I couldn't reload cancel, I would die a lot more than I did. With on the go, I mean, in order to reload cancel, you have to sprint, and the reload cancel you have to sprint. But if you have on the go, you reload while sprinting. Then you can't reload cancel, and I prefer the YY, actually, believe it or not, to reload cancel, and that guy killed me, I have no idea, but I'm gonna go with BS, but I like the YY over sprinting, but in this game, you do not get, like, you know, a combat knife or anything for your secondary by default, and you can block up too, if you didn't have a secondary, they give you a combat knife, which I really liked. Because they didn't give, I mean, they knew, and I could YY all the time. Reload cancel all the day. But, nope, you can't in this game. They just, you know, they're gonna. Oh, I'm getting pinched. Oh, God. Whatever. But yeah. I mean, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about on the go. Alright. I mean, in Black Ops 2, you could pretty much just YY all day. That's what I did, at least. And that's what. Pretty much unique for that game. I was really good at that game, I thought. But, yeah. That's why I do not use that perk. And that's why I'm using Amplify right now, if you guys are questioning that. But, um, I actually do like Amplify. It saves my life a lot. Like, it saves me from getting pinched. I do get pinched a lot, like I just did in my last death. But it saves my life, because I know where people are at a lot of times. This guy. Oh, he just got the D. Enemy satcom spotted. I mean, if I didn't have Amplify, I kind of heard that guy's footsteps. I would not have jump shot at him. I would have not been ready for that. You know how Amplify is banned. I don't, I don't need this perk, but it definitely helps me out a lot. I mean, this is a big game changer for me. I don't need it, but uh, since there's not too many good perks, I'm going to use it anyway. But... These are not the perks I prefer. I don't have enough squad points, but I do want to unlock Deadeye. This, that Deadeye perk is so good. It costs 15 squad points. That's a lot. And, or you can just unlock it at level 60, but you know, screw that. Or right, just permanently unlock it. Enemy control Oracle. Hopefully someone Watch spawned over here. I don't want this guy coming back and winning. I'm only up by one. I'm only up by one because people aren't coming to the control room like they should be. That's how I planned it out. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna go out and open. Oh, I'm gonna get this guy. Thanks to my trusty red dot sight. I won that gunfight from his back. It wasn't really a gunfight, but I got him from long distance. Drop shot him. Good thing he didn't panic knife me. I might have lost. Yes, that's pretty good. I got 30 and 3, Sovereign. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a, leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.